New legendary invisible brawler Leon, OP or not, well today we are going to be doing a deep, 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 deep dive into his stats and also include some Brawlympics rankings into things to try and answer that question for you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, just to give you a little bit of a preface here, a lot of people are saying that Leon is just going to be blatantly overpowered when he is released and I think that it's a lot more complex than that without actually taking a deeper look into his stats and mechanics. Now the purpose of today's video is to not only give you a very complete understanding of his mechanics but also to answer that question of whether Leon is going to be OP. This is not just a gut feeling guys, this is a deep dive into the stats and nobody's going to give you a more deep dive into his stats than I am guys. <laughs> You're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of the video where I will put down all of the information, bring it together and have an answer to you regarding whether or not Leon is actually going to be OP. In other words, whether he's going to be worth spending all of those gems to get a lot of extra boxes to actually release because he's he's a legendary brawler, guys. It's not going to be easy. Okay, now I did release a video yesterday where I explained some of the stats that I also will cover today, but that was like after 30 minutes of analyzing gameplay and stuff. Today's video is brought to you after hours of research into the gameplay, including frame-by-frame -frame analyses of the Brawl Talk gameplay to gather certain data points. Some of the information may be slightly off with the actual update, but once I can actually show you gameplay of Leon, I'll definitely let you know if any of this information is off. Now that being said, I did sweep through every single angle of gameplay of Leon available with a very fine tooth comb. And I would be incredibly surprised if any of the information that I'm giving you today is very far off from the actual live version. Now I really do wish that I could give you actual gameplay of me playing Leon, but unfortunately that is not a possibility at the moment. I will be doing sneak peeks of the update as soon as I possibly can, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss that. Okay, Leon, let's talk about his invisibility mechanics. Now it lasts roughly 8 seconds at max level. My guess is that it will actually be a shorter time frame at lower levels and then the more you upgrade him, the longer his super will actually last. Movement speed does increase when you are invisible, making him the fastest brawler in the game. Now this isn't 100% completely confirmed, but I'm fairly confident that this extra speed boost while invisible is Leon's star power, unless his star power is some like basic addition to his stats, where he's a legendary brawler, I don't think that's actually likely the case. Another thing about the invisibility mechanics, even if you are right next to an enemy brawler, they will not be able to see you. In theory, you could actually run straight through them and they wouldn't even know that you were there if they didn't actually attack you, or if you didn't actually attack them. If you do actually attack while you're invisible, no matter how much time is left for your invisibility cooldown, you will lose your invisibility status until you recharge your super again and activate it. If you take damage while invisible, you will will not lose your invisibility completely, but your location will be revealed for a quick moment similar to what happens when you get hit by an enemy brawler in the bush. For this reason, Crow will actually be a great counter to Leon because those poison stacks will keep pinging off his location. Now I think that his super is going to be excellent for three reasons. It's going to be firstly offensively to get close so that he can actually utilize his close up burst damage and also defensively to be able to run away. And a third reason is to actually force enemy players to waste their shots in trying to find Leon while he is invisible. Now his super does have one blatant weakness. It deals zero damage by itself and heals zero HP. Every other brawler in the game has a super that does one of these two things and that means that Leon is actually going to have to rely on his regular attack to make his super useful. He doesn't gain additional damage to help take out enemy brawlers because of his super and in terms of damage output at a distance you really can kind of think of him similar to Poco because of this. And Poco does not do very much damage. Additionally, while he's invisible, he will be weak to brawlers that cover large areas that will reveal Leon if he gets hit, including Poco, Barley, Frank, Nita, Ricochet, Spike, and Crow. As a side note, I highly doubt that turrets or spawns will actually be able to locate Leon while invisible. I could be wrong, but I don't think it makes a ton of sense for Supercell to add an invisibility feature into the game where a bear or a turret could actually locate that person. Now let's talk about his super's recharge rate, which was not something that has anybody has even covered. Uh, first of all, takes nine hits up close 
for him to actually fully max out his super. He does more damage up close and his super charges up faster up close than when at a distance. Now there wasn't a lot of gameplay of Leon actually hitting brawlers at max range. As such, I've had to do a little bit of estimation and I've estimated that to be about 13 or 14 hits at max distance for him to charge up his super. Even though that is an estimation, I can confidently say that his super will charge in 9 to 13 hits depending on how far away he is from enemy brawlers. With four bullets per shot, that means that he will be able to charge up his super with three shots up close or four shots at max range. It is incredibly hard at max range for you to hit all four hits with four shots at max range and more over than that you'll most likely just like hit one or two per shot so that means it, there's a possibility of it taking like six or maybe even seven hits from a max distance to actually charge up your super which takes a very long time and is an incredibly low recharge speed but up close you're gonna be able to charge that up really quickly so my best comparison to this is el primo or terra where it's really difficult for you to charge up that super once but if you utilize it the correct way then it's really easy for you to recharge your super over and over again now let's talk about his his range is range is very similar to Colt. I pulled out a few measurements in the duration of the video to be very, very clear about his range. And I'd say I'm like 90% certain that his range is eight and two thirds tiles long, which is exactly the same range as Colt or Pam. For more perspective, that is shorter than Jesse's and Penny's by a little bit and longer than Crow's or Tara's by a little bit. It's not a very long range, especially where Colt actually kind of feels like his range is a little bit too short. But unlike other brawlers who deal a lot of damage up close, he does at least have the option of dealing some damage at a distance, which can be useful. Now, it's very difficult to compare attack damage to another brawler with Leon because it scales based off of how far away you are from him, and his attack is very different than Piper. But at max range, he does 208 damage, which is similar to Terra's shadow hitting you once, which is not very much. That's hardly an issue. It's barely even annoying. Even if you at max range get four shots on an enemy brawler, that's still 100 less damage than Poco. And that means he couldn't even three shot a Barley at max range, even if all 12 hits for those three shots actually hit Barley. But at close range, it is possible to hit 676 damage four times with a single shot. With one shot hitting four times at close range, Leon can do 2,704 damage with a single hit, which is just 100 damage less than Bull. And that, guys, is the fourth highest one hit damaging shot in the game with the regular attack. Now, his attack is less bursty than Bull because Bull just shoots out all out in one big blast, whereas Leon has to shoot out four quick shots and then four quick shots and then four quick shots. And on top of that, there's actually time for enemy brawlers to strafe and dodge a part of that shot, kind of like how you can actually do that when you're facing against an enemy El Primo. Now his attack pattern is similar to bow, that means that there's two main primary ways of attacking, a focused point damage if you move left while you shoot, and then area control in a wide arc if you move to the right while you shoot. This is definitely difficult to master, uh, but this means that he does have two options, while most brawlers only have one option, assuming that you do actually have that skill to pull it off, which is one reason why I think Leon is going to be a very high skill brawler. Now, based off of the limited gameplay that I was able to see, I analyzed a lot of different things, and I'm pretty certain that his regular movement speed is 820, which is the same movement speed as Crow and Mortis, and slightly faster than Colt's. This will allow him to get closer to enemy brawlers and dodge shots as well. He's definitely going to have a great poking advantage, where he can actually run up up, shoot, and then fall back before an enemy notices or an enemy brawler is actually able to land a hit and do the same against him. His HP is 4,480, which is similar to a lot of different brawlers. Um, it's more than Brock's and Colt's, it's less than Shelly's and Bo's, and it's the same as Jesse's and Penny's and Tara's. To put this into perspective, he will be able to be two shot by Bull, Colt, Daryl, Pam, and Piper. It will take three shots to take him out from Barley, Bo, Brock, Dynamite, El Primo, Frank, Ricochet, Shelly, Spike, and Terra, and it will take four shots to get taken out by Crow, Jesse, Mortis, and Penny, and lastly, five shots to get taken out by a Nita or a Poco. Leon's HP is definitely his biggest weakness. He has to be at close range to deal maximum damage, and quite frankly, frankly he does not have the HP to withstand auto-aim burst damage shots by brawlers like Spike or Brock or any of those close range brawlers. His reload speed is that of 2.3 seconds, including animation time, which is slightly faster than Brock's and Mortis's, and slightly slower than Dynamite's and Ricochet's. It's the same as Spike's, 
Terra's, Penny's, Barley's, and Jesse's reload speed. And this is a relatively slow reload speed. The fact that Leon does not benefit from additional damage from his super means that a lower reload speed actually hurts Leon more than other brawlers like Jesse, who's able to put down a turret and deal additional damage with that. Or maybe even like a Terra or a Spike who can deal more damage with their super to finish those brawlers off. Leon does not have that. As such, it's very important to learn how to utilize his attacks similar how to how it is important to utilize Bo's attacks for the same reason. Okay. Okay, we have broken down all of the stats on Leon that I could possibly find, which is honestly, I think is pretty impressive because we only have a few little bit limited clips of Leon to actually show. And I've explained a lot of numbers and given a lot of comparisons to help understand whether Leon is actually going to be OP or not. But how can I actually use this? There's so many different variables and factors to consider. How can we actually use this to place Leon? To put things into perspective overall, I created a very cool little chart that I'm very proud of making. If you wanted to tell me it looked good in the comment section, I would be very happy. Here is a ranking chart. Now, this actually refers to the rankings that brawlers earned in the various Brawl Olympics videos, including star powers that I have done in the past. By the way, if you have not seen all the Brawl Olympics videos, I highly recommend watching them in order to gain a very complete understanding of the brawler mechanics in the game. There's a link to the playlist of the Brawl Olympics videos in the description of all of my videos. Quickly though, let's go ahead and give an explanation of this. At the very top, we have attack, which is the max damage with a single shot on one brawler. Then we have range, which is the maximum range possible with regular attacks without hitting other brawlers. Then we have speed, which is your walk speed. HP, which actually compares all of the brawlers at the same level. Then we have charge, which can considers how many full attacks are required for a brawler to actually charge up their super. We also have their regular attack reload speed, which is how long it takes for a brawler to unload and reload a single shot. And an important thing to recognize with this chart is that the most area that is shaded doesn't necessarily mean the, the brawler is the best. For example, we have Bull, who has a super high rating on almost all of these, but an incredibly low range. And while Bull has the most area out of all the brawlers, his low range helps balance him out. Definitely no pro player would actually consider Bull to be OP. Now let's actually take a look at Leon's chart from max distance, which means that his attack is going to be lower and he's going to charge up his super lower. As you can see, for a strength, he has a really high walk movement speed and also a medium ranked uh, range, which that range is even very effective because it just deals so little damage from that range. You'll also notice a very low HP and a reload speed and a supercharge rate. And on top of that, a very, very low attack. In fact, the lowest in the game. As you can see at max range, he is basically just not very great. He deals almost no damage. His reload speed means that he won't be able to attack very frequently. He's fairly squishy and easy to get rid of, and it takes a while for him to charge up his super. Now let's actually take a look at that and compare it to his chart at close range, where he deals max damage and charges up his super at maximum speed. As you can see in this scenario, he has very few weaknesses. He has a high speed, a high charge, and a high attack, a medium reload speed, and range won't actually really matter because he's just going to be close range in this type of situation. The issue is that while he's strong in every area other than HP, HP is going to be the one situation that is going to limit him. Because his HP is low enough that it's going to be difficult for him to withstand situations where close range brawlers are going to be able to easily auto aim and take him out. Now it's really important to recognize that this graphic does not incorporate the uniqueness of brawler attack types or super types, but it does do a good job at helping us bring the majority of what we have talked about together in today's video to help us compare brawlers. Okay guys, we have covered a frank ton amount of information today. That's a Brawl Stars joke. Now I'm going to actually give you my opinion on whether or not Leon is going to be OP. Very simply, I do not think that Leon is going to be OP. I think that he is going to feel super strong when he is first released, maybe even feel OP when people are still learning how to play against him. Invisibility is a new mechanic to get used to, and it will absolutely make people feel like they cannot do anything to beat Leon. But as people always do, especially in competitive games like Brawl Stars, they will learn. They will learn how to be better at having map awareness, and they will learn how to use specific brawlers to actually counter Leon. And most specifically, they will learn what to do when Leon goes invisible. They'll know how to fall back and know where to attack 
on predictable movement patterns so that they're able to reveal his location. But once people learn how to deal with Leon's invisibility, I think it's going to be very manageable to keep your distance from Leon, and at a distance, his damage output is so incredibly low that you can almost ignore it. He'll be solid against tanks, and he'll also do a really great job at countering brawlers that struggle at close range, like Piper does, or even Dynamite. But I also think that using his super to go on the offensive to try and take out an enemy brawler really quick will actually result in a lot of kamikaze situations where he gets taken out as well due to his low HP. I think that highly skilled players will master his attacks and make him super strong, but I also think there are going to be lots of other brawlers that pros or other skilled players will be able to use to easily counter Leon, including Ricochet, Brock, Spike, Crow, Poco, and maybe even Pam. Now don't get me wrong guys, I do absolutely think that Leon is going to be strong, but do I think he's going to be too strong? I mean the definition of OP is overpowered, which means powered more than, you know, too much, too much power. I don't think he's going to have too much power. I think that when he's first released, he will feel like he is going to need a nerf because there are so many new mechanics to Leon that are gonna make him feel very strong. But I think that once people learn how to adapt to him, I think that he will feel strong but not so strong that I think he'll need like an immediate emergency nerf like some brawlers have when they were first released. Now I'm talking to you, Piper. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I thoroughly enjoyed jumping into the numbers and looking at all the different things and comparing them to every single other brawler in the game to give you this high quality analysis of Leon. I will be giving you guys some gameplay of Leon as soon as I am able to do that, so make sure you subscribe like I said. But if you've made it in this far in the video, I definitely want to know what you thought about Leon and whether you think he's going to be OP or not. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for really going the extra mile and supporting my channel. For now guys, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.